Halifax, the Ken Battle of Britain Museum at Hawkinge. It's Tuesday the 16th of May and behind us is our Junkers JU-52, or it's actually built as a CASA 352, but all intents and purposes Junkers JU-52. Um, yesterday we had uh, Trevor and Pete from TCM Welding on site, welding up the staircase so we can actually access the fuselage safely, predominantly for, hopefully for children. Um, it took a bit of time yesterday because it's a tail dragger, so obviously the fuselage is at an angle, but the ground is also at a slope, so a lot of angles and stuff to work out. Um, before you'd access it usually through a um, short ladder, but with all the angles it's not really safe to bring children, let alone adults, in and out to, of the aircraft safely. And the ambition of the museum since we acquired the JU-52 is to turn it into our education facility. So Trevor and Peter back on Thursday and Friday this week when they'll complete the staircase, leave us to do some final painting of it, but then very shortly we can start promoting this to local schools and clubs, and hopefully we can get kids in and out. Um, inside there'll be 18 foot Jim Yeager paratroopers if Operation Sea Lion had taken place. That would be the uh, planned invasion of Great Britain had the path of Britain gone the other way. Um, if that had taken place, one of the very first targets for the JU-52, uh, JU-52s and for Jim Yeager paratroopers would be to take this very airfield. So we'd have seen this type of aircraft over the top, paratroopers jumping out to um, secure the airfield. And for their aircraft like this, we'll be coming in with more troops, equipment, munitions to back up the invasion of Great Britain. So what we're going to do is bring schools in. On the 18 um, paratrooper seats, we'll be able to sit, we hope, around about 25 to 30 kids, depending on their age. And then we can actually tell them about the Battle of Britain and educate them about what if, if Operation Sea Line had taken place. So if you by chance have kids at a local school um, or a teacher and you're interested in um, educating your kids about that period, we'd be very interested to hear from you. Um, other than the actual admission fee to the museum, there's no extra cost to come in with a school or party to use the fuselage um, as our education facility. Also, if you have um, a usable iPad or something like that, if you consider donating to the museum, it's equipment like that we're going to need to actually help us with the education of kids. So anything along those lines, um, to a reasonable condition, iPads like that, if you contemplate donating it, please get in touch. Thank you for joining me, Dave, um, at the Kemp Museum at Hawkins, and we hope to see you soon.